What's up guys, Linux Noob here with another video and today we'll be taking a look at Ubuntu Mate 16.04, the beta 1 release. Now I chose to take a look at Ubuntu Mate because for quite some time now I've been really really impressed with the Mate desktop environment and this is the official Ubuntu flavor that I'm most excited about among all of the 16.04 releases. Now since we are pretty close to the final release date of Ubuntu 16.04 which is 21st April I believe and so this should give us at least a decent idea about what to expect from the next LTS release of Ubuntu Mate. So without further ado, let's get started. Now first of all, what I'm showing you over here is a full hardware installation. This is not running under VirtualBox. Personally, I don't prefer reviewing this distributions under VirtualBox as I feel like they don't represent the exact experience that you'll be getting on a full hardware installation. One more thing is, this is not exactly in a state, it comes out of, out of the box. Uh, as I've installed some applications uh, that doesn't come by default, but at the same time, I haven't changed the settings much, if at all. So the settings and the uh, theming is uh, almost uh, as it comes by default. So the first thing I would like to talk about is the welcome screen. Now, I usually don't take a look at the welcome screens in my reviews uh, because most of the time they're mostly the same. What they give you is some basic ideas about what the distribution is all about and mention some of the features that it has. But this welcome screen has some interesting things that I haven't seen that much before. Now, like any other welcome screen, uh, this also gives you the basic documentation about the distribution, uh, but it also has these two tabs that I would li like to talk a little bit about. Now, if we get into the getting started tab, you'll see that there are all these options that you might be interested in taking a look at uh, right after you install the distribution itself. Uh, like for the software updates, there's this direct link to the software updater itself uh, and also if you haven't installed the uh, codex, the third party codex uh, during the installation, you can do that uh, directly from here. Next is the drivers tab. You can install uh, the proprietary uh, drivers, the additional from the uh, additional drivers tab here. Uh, again, this is something that was always there in Ubuntu, but it's really nice to have all of these options in uh, one panel under the welcome screen. It just makes things much more uh, convenient, in my opinion. Now, one thing I would like to, you to note here, if you are an AMD GPU user like me, as you can see here, the proprietary drivers are no longer supported officially in Ubuntu 16.04, which basically means that they are no longer available in the official Ubuntu repositories. Granted, you can download the latest drivers from the AMD website and install them manually, but I've always had problems installing proprietary drivers in Linux, regardless of which distribution I'm in. Now, having the option to install them directly from the additional drivers page was a huge convenience, at least for me. And even though they were not the latest drivers, uh, but they always worked without any issue in my experience. I never had any problems installing them uh, from the official repositories. But now in Ubuntu 16.04, we no longer have that option. Now granted the open source drivers are probably good enough for a lot of people but this is something you should take into account if you are uh, if you have AMD hardware and looking to especially game on it. Now this is not a problem specific to Ubuntu Mate as all the distributions that will be based on Ubuntu 16.04 will have this problem but there's a problem nonetheless. Now moving on, there are all these other customization options. I'm not going to uh, go through all of them obviously, but I'll say this, if you will be using this distribution, uh, these settings are uh, really, really helpful to get uh, directly from the uh, welcome menu. And these are things that you probably want to look, take a look at uh, right after you uh, install the uh, operating system itself. 
Now the next thing I want to talk about is the Boutique Software Center. Now you can get to the Boutique Software Center right from the welcome screen or you can go from the Applications menu as well. Now uh, this is by far one of my most favorite uh, features of this distribution. Now usually uh, distributions handle pre-installed software in uh, mainly two ways. Either they just give you the bare essentials and uh, ask you to install, download and install the software uh, you want to use either from a software manager or a package manager or directly from the internet. That's how it works. Or they just uh, pre-install uh, all the software that they feel is necessary for all kind of uh, needs and they just hope that you will find what you need from there. Now I personally prefer the first one, the first way of doing things simply because I found uh, the, in the distributions that pre-install a lot of softwares uh, I end up using uh, like about 20 to 30 percent of the software that uh, that is pre-installed and the rest of them are just uh, sitting over there doing nothing and it just makes the entire system a lot more cluttered. Now how Ubuntu Mate is handling things here is uh, they are by default pre-installing just the essential softwares and what they have here is a boutique software center with carefully curated softwares that they feel most of the people use and are the best software that are available here. Now uh, you can see that every single software has this brief description which is which I found to be quite uh, helpful and also they have this little notes most of the time it just tells you uh, which uh, software it can be used as an alternative to which is especially helpful if you are a new user, you are new to Linux and don't exactly know uh, which, uh, the name of the software that you want to use. Now this is by far in my opinion uh, is the best way of doing things uh, when it comes to pre-installed software and also having all these uh, important softwares or the uh, good, uh, the best softwares in here under one place is really really helpful and convenient at the same time. All you have to do is just to click on that install button uh, and it just downloads and installs uh, those for you. Now I've been installing some of these uh, just to test them out and most of them uh, work without an issue. Uh, I had a problem with a couple of uh, softwares I believe. Uh, notably I remember that I installed Steam and uh, it installed properly but uh, it doesn't uh, open up for some reason. Uh, and also there was a, a problem while in the, trying to install Skype. Skype does, just doesn't uh, download from the uh, from this software center. Now these are issues that that will most likely be fixed before the final release. So these are things that you uh, shouldn't really be caring about. Uh, and also, uh, if you want, there are other software manage managers available to download and install directly from here the Ubuntu Software Center, just any other software center you want and Synaptic Package Manager is uh, installed by default. Also there are options to update the software lists and also if you uh, need to fix some broken packages that could be done directly from here. Now also one more thing interesting I found about it is you have the option uh, to hide proprietary software if you just prefer to install free software or open source software you just click this uh, and uh, the proprietary software uh, go away from the list here again this is something I really really like because they are not making the decision on their selves and forcing it down your throats they are giving you uh, the option it's there for you to choose whatever you want to do so that's the boutique software center for you in Ubuntu Mate 16.04. Personally, this is unlike anything I have ever seen before in any Linux distribution. And uh, now that I've seen it, I personally feel that this is the best way of handling pre-installed application, especially for new users. And I hope more and more distribution uh, start incorporating this. Now onto the desktop itself. Now the first thing I noticed Im almost immediately is uh, how snappy it actually feels. Now this is something I can't really explain that well in words. You really have to experience it in order to realize it. 
but the entire system somehow feels a lot faster and responsive in doing the very basic things like opening up windows and apps uh, moving the windows it feels a lot more responsive now uh, I personally use an SSD uh, so I'm used to that speed but uh, this is not uh, exactly that speed I'm talking about. This is about responsive responsiveness and snappiness mostly. Now, uh, in fact, I've installed this specific installation is on a hard drive. In fact, in fact, a slower variant of the hard drive, the 5400 RPM hard drive. But still, it manages to feel a lot more responsive and snappy than anything I've seen in the Ubuntu side of things before. Now, I have experienced this uh, responsiveness uh, before in the ArchBase distributions, but uh, I have never seen it uh, happen in a Ubuntu-based distribution before. So this is definitely a welcome change for me. I don't know, again, exactly why, uh, what's the reason for this. This might be the new Mate desktop. This might be the Ubuntu 16.04 base, or it could be something else. I'm not sure, but this is a definitely a welcome change not, nonetheless. Now this version of the distribution comes with the Mate 1.12.1 desktop environment along with the Ubuntu 16.04 base. So obviously it has all the goodness that Ubuntu 16.04 comes with. Now this version of Mate mostly brings bug fixes and memory leak fixes along with resource management improvements and latest versions of the default applications. Now the default layout as well as the whole desktop environment as you probably know by now resembles the GNOME 2 desktop environment and it improves on top of that which I personally quite like. Now I first gave Linux a try back in the Fedora 8 days which had GNOME 2 as its default desktop environment and I personally liked it since then. Now I don't again personally prefer GNOME 3 desktop so Mate is something I personally like and I would prefer uh, Mate uh, to use Mate over GNOME 3 desktop. Now in terms of customization, obviously you can customize it to as you like it, but at the same time the Mate Tweak tool give you a, a lot of options as well. Now if we open up the Mate Tweak tool, the first option you will get is to have these icons in the de uh, desktop, these default icons. Now, I personally prefer not to have them on the desktop, I personally prefer a clean desktop, but if you want them, you can have them. Now, in terms of window manager, uh, you can have the, uh, uh, the controls on the right or the left. The default window manager is Marco, but you also have Compass pre-installed and set up for you. Now, if you use Compass and you have downloaded, installed, and set up Compass before, then you probably know how difficult it can be sometimes. Now, here it's uh, completely pre-done for you. It's as easy as to uh, come in here, uh, selecting the uh, Compass option from this drop-down menu, logging out of the system, logging back again, and Compass will be enable enabled. It's that simple. So, uh, if you want all those desktop effects, wobbly windows and cube desktop uh, you can have that here and it's pretty simple now in in terms of interface customizations the first thing I would like to talk about is the advanced menu now by default uh, the mate desktop environment comes with this uh, traditional looking uh, gnome to like uh, uh, applications menu which I personally don't like uh, I personally find this to be the, uh, too simple and uh, less functional and especially in uh, 2016 we have so many uh, menus that are more functional and gives you uh, so much more uh, options. I like them over this traditional kind of looking menu and Mate has a solution for that as well. Now if you like this kind of panel you can have this as well. But at the same time, if you like more of an advanced kind of menu, you can simply uh, enable the advanced menu and now you'll have the mate uh, menu, which is, you can see uh, that it comes with most of the uh, features that you might expect from a modern menu, modern applications menu, uh, including the search panel, which is, uh, which I personally use quite a lot and you, obviously you can customize this as well. So having this uh, really, really things uh, makes things a lot easier and convenient. Again, you have the option to use either one. 
Now, in terms of panel layouts, they have some uh, uh, pre-done uh, panel layouts done for you. Uh, if you like a more like a Windows kind of setup, you can go and choose that, and this will give you at the panel at the bottom, much like uh, how Windows does things. If you like uh, the kind of like the Mac setup with the dock at the bottom, you can have that as well. All the dock and everything is pre-installed and pre-set up for you. And obviously, you can have your you can customize your own layout as well and save it. So uh, this is again. Again, these customizations are things that you can do on your own as well, but it's always nice to have the options and set up uh, pre-set up for you. Now, in terms of settings, uh, it comes with this unified control center, which I really, really prefer having. I think having a centralized control center really makes things a lot easier to find when you need them, and it's just a, a lot more convenient way of doing things. As you can uh, see, uh, it has all the settings it mi you might expect uh, from a Ubuntu-based distribution. Uh, in terms of uh, look and feel, the theming, it comes with uh, quite a few pre-installed themes. Uh, obviously, you can customize them as well. Uh, the colors, the window borders, the icons, the pointers, you can customize all of them. And of course, you can download your own themes and install, install them and use them as well. Now, in terms of the file manager, it's using uh, Kaha. I feel I'm, I guess I'm pronouncing it uh, right. Uh, and it also has all the general features that you might expect uh, from a modern file manager, including the uh, split panel uh, thing here, uh, which I personally quite prefer. I think it's just a lot convenient way uh, of doing things when you're transferring a lot of files between two places. Now in terms of system resource usage, uh, right after a cold boot, I found uh, the memory uses to be somewhere around 400 to 420 megabytes, uh, which is quite good in my opinion. Obviously right now it's using uh, much more than that since I'm recording this video. But uh, for a modern uh, desktop environment like Mate is, and in terms of the functionality that it offers, uh, using 400 megabytes of RAM uh, by default is quite good in my opinion. Now one problem I noticed is screen tearing. It's there and it's very noticeable from time to time, especially while watching videos and moving windows. Now this is something I've been facing in quite a few desktop environments for quite some time now and it's there in this one as well. Now one solution to uh, this is to use the Compiz uh, window manager which takes care of that so if that's an issue for you and you don't find any other solution, then you might be forced to use Compass, which you might or might not like. But other than that, I don't really have any major complaints about this, this distribution. So overall, the first impressions of this distribution is really, really good. It has a solid Ubuntu base. It feels polished and responsive. It's easy to use for both new and seasoned users, and it gives you a lot of options. Now, if you follow the channel, then you will know that Peppermint OS 6 is my primary Linux distribution right now, and I'm looking forward to Peppermint OS 7 when it comes out. But if for some reason, Peppermint OS 7 end up being not up to the mark, then this is probably going to be my primary distribution then. I'm liking it that much so far, and the Ubuntu Mate team has really done an extraordinary job with this release. So that's it for this video guys, let me know what you feel about Ubuntu Mate and which Ubuntu flavor are you looking forward to the most in the 16.04 release. As always, like the video if you liked it, leave your feedback in the comment section down below and subscribe to the channel for more Linux videos. And I'll see you in the next video.